Hey, I'm James and this is 35 Amazing Life Hacks You Need to Know to Simplify and Improve Your Everyday Life. Now in this video, I'm going to cover everything from organization, cleaning, to saving a few bucks, along with some food hacks. Personally, these life hacks have changed the way I live life, so I think you're going to get a kick out of these. And now we're going to start off with an incredibly simple way to fold a t-shirt really fast in under two seconds. Now this technique will not only save you time, but it will make folding laundry less of a drag. Now as you can see, I'm positioned to my right side of the shirt, so I will be folding from the left. Halfway between the collar and the sleeve is our first pinch. We're going to have three pinches in total. Go halfway down the shirt and we have our second pinch. And then after that, we're going to bring pinch one all the way down to pinch three. And that's where the magic happens. We're bringing one down to three. We're just going to uncross our arms and uncross. And now at this point, we just want to shake it out. And that is the easiest way to fold any shirt. Again, let's watch that once more. I'm bringing pinch one all the way down to pinch three, pinch two. That stays right there. And then at this point, all we got to do is just uncross the arms and you're done. That's all there is to it. So give it a little practice and you'll never fold a shirt the same way again. Peeling potatoes is such a chore. It's even worse than doing the dishes. You will not believe how simple it is to peel off the skin of a potato. All you got to do is make an incision around the circumference of the potato. You just want to go skin deep. After you do that, now you just have to boil the potato. Once the potato is cooked, just drop it in an ice bath and you will see the skin peel off right before your very eyes. Unbelievable. No way am I going to peel a potato the same way again, ever. Now I thought coffee filters only had one purpose, but they're actually really effective for cleaning windows and mirrors. As you can see, they work like a charm. And coffee filters are awesome because they don't leave any streaks or lint behind, unlike paper towels or rags. Ew, that's nasty. And speaking of coffee filters, these are terrific for cleaning the interior of your car. The filters are durable, they won't break apart, and again, it's not going to leave any lint behind. And as you can see, the coffee filters attract dust very well. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever wondered if when the electricity goes out, if it's just a problem at my house or if it's a widespread outage. So if you ever find yourself without any electricity, all you got to do is just check your phone and see if you can pick up any Wi-Fi connections. If people living in the surrounding areas have internet, then they have electricity. It's not every day that we use a funnel, so why spend money on something you only use a few times a year, if that, when you can make a funnel from a water bottle? Now, I have a Sprite bottle here. It's efficient, and as you can see, it wasn't any trouble to make at all. And look at this, it works. And if you thought that was cool, you can use that makeshift funnel for an additional purpose, to reseal a bag. Now we have our water bottle cap, all you gotta do is just push the back through the bottleneck like this, fold it over the edges, and twist the cap on. Now you have an airtight seal. Now that is brilliant. Testing batteries has never become more simpler with this amazing life hack. All you gotta do to see how much life your battery has is to bounce them on a hard surface. If the battery makes a thump sound and stands up like this, then it's good to go. However, if it bounces and falls over like this, then it's dead. Now you can go into your drawer full of old batteries and officially test out which ones to keep and which ones to toss. Now when life gives you frozen pizzas, you gotta cook them, though it's a little hard to do when you only have one rack and not enough space. To maximize oven space, just cut the pizzas in half and orient them like this. Genius! All you need is a water bottle, a rubber band, and an iPhone of course on flashlight mode. Put it together like this and look at that. And what's neat about the water bottle is that you can spread the light in all directions. So it will fill a dark room more efficiently. Pretty neat. Now I think it's fair to say that we've all broken the glass before. And in some cultures, it's actually considered good luck, believe it or not. After you swept up and removed the bigger shards of glass, use a slice of bread to pick up the smaller pieces of glass that remain, including all that glass dust. Place the bread over the slivers and gently press down so that all the shattered pieces of glass sticks onto the bread. I have to say that this life hack has to be the greatest thing since sliced... Oh, never mind. And how did I go my whole life without knowing this next life hack? You can convert your bag of microwave popcorn into a popcorn bowl. Instead of getting your hand all greasy, just cut a square on one side of the bag after you take it out of the microwave. This makes it incredibly easy to reach all the popcorn without coating your hand in grease. 
absolutely amazing. How did I go my whole life without using a pillowcase to clean my ceiling fan? This trick is genius because the pillowcase will catch all of the dust that accumulates on the ceiling fan blades without leaving a mess all over the floor. Ink stains are typically difficult to remove, but not with this life hack, you just need some hand sanitizer. Just blot the stain with a little sanitizer gel, let it set for a few minutes, and then rub the stain, and before you know it, you'll begin to see the stain lift right up before your very eyes. Then all you have to do is just toss it into the washing machine, and the stain will be completely gone. I mean, that is just amazing. If you're looking for an ingenious way to organize all those hats that you have, then use shower curtain rings in a hanger to organize them. Sure, you could stack them, but they do look messy that way, and this just looks much more organized and easy to pick from. Now, I prefer that you get the shower curtain rings with the clips so that you can hang the hats that don't have the adjustable strips. Ah, Pringles, you never disappoint me. You can actually repurpose a Pringles can and use it as a spaghetti container. I mean, it's almost as if these Pringles cans were specifically designed for this reason. It fits perfectly. And I personally love this life hat because with most spaghetti boxes, there isn't a way to seal the opening, leaving the noodles out in contact with the air and reducing its shelf life. So yeah, the Pringles can makes for perfect spaghetti storage. And hey, while we're on the topic of Pringles, did you know that you can use the bottom tin as a beverage coaster? Who knew? Great, now I have to eat another can of Pringles to demonstrate this life hack. And there you have it, a cup coaster that took no time to make. If you're cooking and you have no place to put your cookbook, then try using a pants hanger. Chances are you already have many of these in your closet. It works really well, it's super efficient, and while it's not the most stylish thing in the world, it's much better at eye level than regular cookbook stands. Most of us throw away these produce bags, but not me. You can recycle them and use them in place for pot scrubbers or Brillo pads. These mesh bags are the best thing for scrubbing pots. It's less abrasive than a Brillo pad, so you can safely use this on all of your cookware and countertops without scratching them. And on the plus side, these cool little produce bags are sturdy and washable, so you will definitely get many uses out of them. Another idea, you can put one of these nets around the bar of soap and use it as a gentle hand scrubber. Great for those tough cleanup jobs like after working outside or after working on an art project. Chances are, you have quite the collection of wires and cables that you aren't currently using but you might need later on. So keep your collection tangled free and neatly organized in a DIY toilet paper organizer. This way, each of your cables are easy to find. This may sound silly, but you can take marshmallows for a sore throat. I know, it's weird to think that marshmallows could remedy throat pain, but many people swear by it, including me. It's most likely due to the gelatin in the marshmallow that coats and soothes the throat. Medicine never tasted so good. Now, after learning this life hack, you will probably never look at a Rello cup the same way again. This line down here marks one ounce, so that's a serving of liquor. The line mark up here is 5 ounces, a serving of wine, and this line mark at 12 ounces is a serving of beer. And I always thought it was just part of the cup's design, but it's good to know that there's a purpose behind those lines. You can beautifully scent your entire house by sprinkling a few drops of vanilla extract or any essential oil on your air filters. This will eliminate odors and keep your home smelling nice and fresh. Now, I personally use 20 drops of vanilla extract on my air filters, and during the winter time, I usually switch over and use cinnamon. And every time you change out the filters, you can experiment with all kinds of different essential oils. It's a real ingenious way to make your whole entire house smell nice and fresh. And hey, while we're on the topic of air filters, you can build a DIY air purifier with just a box fan and an air filter. No tools necessary. This is something a lot of people have been getting into lately. All you gotta do is just tape an air filter in front of the box fan, and you have such a simple, yet brilliant and inexpensive solution to keeping the air out in your home, and trust me, it works. Now this is great for anybody that has allergies, and those with a pair of lungs. With time and constant use, your scissors will get dull and they won't cut as well. You can solve this problem by sharpening your scissors with sandpaper. What you want to do is fold your sandpaper with the grain facing out on both sides. Take the pair of scissors and cut through the sandpaper. And again, make sure that the grit side is up as this is what sharpens the blades. Once you have reached desired sharpness, just wipe the blades with a dry cloth before using and you're good to go. Here's an easy, fun way to pack clothes for a one-day trip. 
So all you need to do is just lay your shirt out, place your underwear and a toothbrush if you want, and where the sleeves are, you want to fold both sides like this, and you want to position the socks with the leg facing out on top of the sleeves. All that's left to do is to roll up the shirt. Roll the shirt all the way up, and now it's time to tuck everything into the socks. And bada bing, bada boom, look at that. It feels so satisfying doing that, I kid you not. I wish I knew this life hack when I was a kid. If you're trying to eat less, then you want to put your food on small plates. Why? Because larger plates make a serving of food appear smaller, like this, while the smaller plates trick your brain into thinking you have more food. And if you're like me, who likes to eat with their eyes, then you're better off piling the food on a smaller dish, as this will help you consume less food. It's like an optical illusion thing, and it actually works. Now I think I can speak for everyone. We've all had that grocery bag mountain in our kitchen. There are all kind of tricks on the internet on how you can store them, but I think the best one is stuffing them in a tissue box. You can stuff a ton of these in there, and then when it comes time to retrieving one, it's super easy. I'm using a smaller tissue box, so I could only stuff so many in here, but you can get a bigger box and put that whole mountain in there. Now this life hack is really good if you're a parent and you don't want your kids getting into the cookies or maybe you're going to have a bunch of friends over and they always eat all of your munchies and it just sucks. The first thing that typically goes are the cookies. So what I do, I put them in a Raisin Bran box because no one's going to go inside a Raisin Bran box except me of course but most people won't even touch the stuff and kids they will never suspect that the Oreos are in this box. And if you're like me, I purchased the off-brand cookies and they don't have a closable tab so that you can seal off the cookies. So a cereal box can make for an excellent little storage container. But if you want that airtight seal, I would suggest putting it in a Ziploc bag. Say you're driving down some neighborhood and someone is following you too close. What I do is I turn my blinker on and they usually slow down. This works at least for me because the blinker is going to inform the driver behind you that you're about to turn so the tailgating driver has no choice but to back off. This has personally helped me in a number of situations. And of course, when that doesn't work, you got a middle finger for a reason. If you ever suspect that someone is giving you a fake phone number, then this life hack is for you. After the person gives you their phone number, just read it back to them incorrectly. Change the last digit, and if they correct you, then you know it's legit. If you read it back incorrectly and the person doesn't say anything about it, then you're being tricked. This can come in handy, especially when asking someone out on a date, or maybe if you have a sales job. Though I have to admit, it might get very awkward catching someone in a lie like this, so use this life hack at your own risk. Now chances are you've seen some critters that made some unwelcoming appearances in your home. Well with this life hack, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY cockroach trap that you can make with duct tape and some peanut butter. What you want to do is rip off 5 inches of some sticky duct tape, smear a dab of peanut butter in the middle and you're all set. And then when you lay this on the counter, they will go for the bait and get stuck on the sticky part. This life hack will allow you to enjoy a McDelicacy at a cheaper price. It's called the Poor Man's Big Mac. And all you need to do to order this is say, Yes, let me get a McDouble without the ketchup and mustard. And I like to add lettuce and mac sauce on that. Now the traditional price for a Big Mac is usually $4 and some change. But with this, it's only $2 and some change. So you can get two of these for the price of one. Now the picture of it looks a little disappointing, but you have to remember it's not the sesame seed bun. It's truly the only way I'm going to order a Big Mac from now on. Instead of going through the hassle of making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every time you want one, why not just make a bunch of these in advance, store them in the freezer, and grab them as you're hungry? This way you have a tasty snack all ready when you get home from work or school, and I'm sure moms, moms would absolutely love this idea, as mornings can be a time crunch, so having these on demand for your kids' lunches will make your life much easier. And on the plus side, these are way cheaper than the Uncrustables at the grocery store. Now I love Wikipedia, but sometimes when I'm trying to learn a complex subject, it can be a little difficult to understand, but this life hack will help you with that. If you're reading a complex article, choose Simple English from the language menu to simplify what you're reading. The simplified Wikipedia articles use fewer words, they remove all of the jargon, and basically make the article as understandable as possible. Pretty cool.
If you enjoy these life hacks, click like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And out of all the life hacks that I presented, I'm curious to know which ones were your favorite. Let me know in a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.